All right, so here we are traveling through snow and 28 degree weather here. We're headed down to Salt Lake City. Young couple is dealing with scratching in the ceiling of their basement bedroom. But what I'm excited about is offering some training to our leading upcoming technician, Caden, who really wants to know how to hunt these rats down. So we're gonna do that right now. All right guys, here's Caden on this beautiful snowy day and we're on the hunt to figure out what's causing this rat infestation in this house. This is Caden's first rodent call ever, so he's excited. I know, I'm super excited, so hopefully Dave can teach me what I need to know. So here we are in the backyard. So let's go ahead and take you to the areas where they're hearing the activity, which is gonna be down here in this basement room. And it's this room right here where they're getting a lot of activity at nighttime. So right behind this wall here is a bathroom. And then over here is the laundry room. Let's remove this tape right here and see what we have behind this door. This is directly behind the bedroom slash bathroom. What we're looking for right here, Caden. Any sort of activity, nesting, uh, defecation, any sort of runways. So Caden, what you want to do is always look. See all these openings here? Yeah. You always want to have a, get a, 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 yeah, get up in there and just see if there's any activity. But you could see here, there are some droppings. So now that we know where the activity is, uh, what we're gonna do now is go outside, let's do a perimeter and see if there's any entry points on the outside to see if there's anything obvious that's allowing these rats to get in here. So Dave, what are we, what are we looking for here on the outside of the home? So what we're looking for is any entry points, uh, burrows, holes, venting, anything that a rat can get into. You also want to look at, at the eaves as well and just find any openings that are suspect to getting into the home. Uh, right now we're on the opposite side of the affected room so let's go ahead and get to the area real quick. Now you always want to look at the roof as well and you can see these pipes right here are directly above the room that's having all the activity. Let's get in here. The dryer vent there as well. The dryer vent, yeah. Um, they say they recently replaced this, so it shouldn't be an issue. But yes, dryer vents are notorious for the rats to get in. So here, this is completely sealed. It's been replaced. Again, no, no burrows. Again, what we're looking for is secretions like fence, wood fencing as well. You could see where they've traveled. If you look at the exterior, of a structure. All right, so again, we're not getting on that roof today because it's just too much snow. And all right, let's go back to the backyard here. The other thing too, guys, if you have sheds or a separate structure, you always want to look to see if there any activity in the shed or again, a garage area, not seeing any activity in the garage area. Now check this out, Caden. This is interesting. See all these trees here? And then you can see the cables from the, the city poles there, the electrical coming right here, right onto the roof area here. Again, it's kind of a bad day to see if there's any sort of runways because we're not gonna be able to see the secretions that they leave behind. This is leading us into the attic area, so let's go up in the attic area. Gotta have a good flashlight. I love the Nebos. It is the best flashlight by far. And the reason why a bright flashlight is so helpful, especially in rodent detection is you gotta be able to visibly see where they're coming in, seeing signs of it. So a great flashlight, especially up in an attic, is super important. All right, so this is the attic area here. A lot of thick insulation up here. All right, so look at this, guys. Look what we found. We found a runway here. You could see how smooth the insulation is over here, but over here, it's completely ruffled up. So you could see, Caden, you tunnel. see the, the wood in the tunnel? See this? Look at that. Look at the tunnel right there. It's leading all the way over to here. And then right here, you could see a tunnel underneath. Is that the rat defecation right there? It smells like urine as well. Look at, look at guys, look at the wood here. This right here is a sign. They're eating, the, they're chewing the wood here up in the attic, creating a nesting environment. Oh, look at this. What's this? Oh, cup. Look at that. Look at the chew marks. Look at this, you guys. Look what I found. 
bam you could see the secretion right here so this is a, <clears throat> a fan from the bathroom that's completely disconnected <laughs> look at that definitely a suspect area here this goes through the roof and i could see some slight <clears throat> oil marks on this uh on this metallic material here look at that all right so what we need to do caden let's let's remove some of this insulation bag it <clears throat> let's get down to the drywall and see if we can see any stagnant urine or urine stains here all right caden i'm gonna we'll go have some breakfast i'll be back in a couple of hours Dude, aren't you supposed to teach me <laughs> gosh it smells like urine you terrible it smells disgusting Hey Dave, I found a suspect area over here where the the tunnel actually drops down oh, yeah, yeah. towards the that, edge. That little hole right there in the right, back? Yeah, right there. All right, let me get in there and see. Uh... Oh, I see a hole right here. Oh yeah, look at this. Check this out. Perfect hole right there. I think what we're going to do is we're going to stage some very aggressive rat traps up here in this area that we clean. We're going to connect this back together. And duct tape. As you can see, it's only temporary. Never use duct tape, especially when there is a lot of heat transfer and cold transfer. It's not going to stick. So what we want to do here is use some metal tape and some screws here to secure this so it doesn't uh, disconnect again. And then we'll set up some traps up in here and then do some monitoring as they are hiding right now. Okay, so we've got some uh, metal tape. I went ahead and got an adapter. What I'm going to do is just uh, set that in like this. Seal this off like this. See how sticky? It really adheres to metal really well. And what we'll do is we'll take a couple of self-tapping screws here. All right, guys. So here we are in the basement closet. A little bit of cinnamon here on top of our peanut butter buffet. Let's go ahead and blow this into the air. Get the aromas going so they could just feel like I just want to eat. All right, so let's set this and then we're gonna set it right up against that wall. All right, so when it comes to outside trapping, if you have a separate structure that's uh, away from the house, especially in the backyard, you wanna set some traps around that perimeter. Let me show you what that looks like. You can't just have these exposed out in the open. Sun's gonna beat them, all of the elements. Not only that, the rats like security. They like to be protected or feel secure from owls and other predators. So you wanna pick a spot. Let's just kinda take a look. Let's use the back of this here. Let's go ahead and set this bad baby. What we'll do is we'll set this along this wall like this. We'll set this up like this. Now what that does is it provides that security. They come in here, they feel secure, more likelihood of catching rats this way. Don't just leave them out in the open. All right, guys, well, we'll just load up here and then uh, come back to actually tomorrow and see if we've got anything. Pretty excited. All right, guys, well, this is the second day. I had to get my cup of coffee. It's the only thing that gets me going in the morning. So we're gonna go check out those traps, see if we got anything. It's like California weather. So it's a good day to, to do an inspection here. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see at the job site, see what we got, guys. Okay, so let's check inside the attic area. Nothing yet. Okay, let's go check out that laundry room. Nothing. All right, let's go check the back side of this garage here. Ah, nothing. I don't even see any footprints around here. All right, let's go check on the other parts of the exterior of the home. Oh, darn it, doesn't look like it either. All right, let's sneak in over here. And you can see how I created a very dark runway. And nothing. All right, well, let's uh, let's try to get the let's get the ladder up and see if we can get up on this roof here today. I'm gonna sniff the vents up there and see if there's any sort of clues on activity. All right, well, there's nothing that indicates they're coming in from the sewer or that vent pipe. I'm not seeing any runways or any sort of secretion on the pipes. All right, well, 
no luck in getting any rats in the trap but you just got to be patient that's the that's the challenge with these jobs is you got to be patient you can't just expect overnight success as of right now what i'm leaning towards is they fixed that dryer vent they had an old dryer vent that was wide open from the side of the house into that little downstairs closet so now that everything is sealed up, it's just now we've got a monitor. So we'll come back in the next three to five days, see if we have any activity and we'll go from there. So stay tuned.